and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Jamie and today I'm going to give you a full walk around video on this 2016 Mazda BT50 XT High Rider. Start off at the front of the car, run you through some of the features and also the condition inside and out as well. Starting off at the front of the car, as you can see, you do get a real nice stylish grille that the BT50 tends to come with. You also get these nice chrome garnishes that actually go around the grille. And as you can see, you get massive uh, headlights as well that are obviously going to give you heaps of vision on the road. Now, for a 2016, the front of the car does present really well. There are a couple minor stone chips here and there, but for the age of the vehicle, nothing inconsistent. We'll come around and look at the first alloy wheel. As you can see, really nice design that Mazda's gone with here as well. And it does look like it is pretty much an unmarked alloy wheel as well. Now, the tread on the tyres is also still very good. Get your side indicator in integrated into the side fender and as you can see you do get the blacked out mirrors and the door handles. Now the driver's window or windows I should say have been tinted so if you were looking to get that done further down in the track you will save a bit of money there as well. As you can see the driver's door is in really good condition which is worth noting as well. Taking a look inside the car now. As you can see the driver's compartment is in really good condition. No major wear on the seat itself. Down below you do get the carpet mats as well and as you can see with the vinyl floors they're pretty much unmarked as well. Now where we get lazy and open the door and kick the door open that's also pretty much unmarked as well. Moving down the vehicle now as you'll see it is fitted with a steel tray. We'll pop down real quick and have a look at the second alloy wheel because as you can see again that's in really good condition as well with pretty much the exact same tread on that rear tyre too which is awfully good. Coming to the back of the car now as you'll notice, the tow pack has been fitted. I'm just going to open the tray real quick and show you how easy it is to get into it. So it's as easy as undoing these latches here. And straight into the tray you, can, you get. And you can also do that for all, four, oh, all three sides as well. So moving down the vehicle, as you can see, still trays all in good, good, good condition as well. No major dents or anything that are worth pointing out. Third alloy wheels unmarked again with a good tyre. Your fuel cap is actually underneath here and you will actually need the key to unlock it so no one's going to be siphoning your fuel. Keep working our way down, driver's door, oh, sorry passenger's door, door is in really good condition as well. Just a little minor scratch just down here but again nothing inconsistent for the age of the vehicle. And then coming to the fourth and final wheel as you can see another unmarked alloy wheel with good tyre. So as you can see guys with the exterior condition of the vehicle, previous owners done a great job of maintaining it. I was now taking a look underneath the bonnet. So what we have here is a 2.2 four-cylinder turbo diesel engine. This engine produces 110 kilowatts and also 375 newton meters of torque. You do get a six-speed sports automatic gearbox in the vehicle as well. Good size fuel tank, 80 liters. The good thing about the car is also the fuel economy as well. So 8.6 liters to the average 100, oh sorry, to the 100 k's. So out of a full tank, on average, you're going to get around 930 kilometers. As now taking a look inside the interior of the BT50, we'll start you off on the driver's side door. Do have a button just below the windows just to lock the window. So if anyone does get a bit annoying and they're driving you crazy in the passenger, you can actually lock them out. Do get power windows for both driver and the passenger, but the driver's window is automatic and that's up and down. And then you get all your mirror controls just above as well. Now on the right hand stalk, you do get your indicators and also your headlights. And then just behind the indicators itself, there is a little clip here. You might not be able to see it, but it just holds things like business cards. On the left hand stalk, you've got your front windscreen wiper. On the steering wheel itself, on the right hand side, you have all your cruise control settings. Left hand side, all your media controls and also your pick up and hang up for the Bluetooth as well. Now moving into the main entertainment system now, as you can see, you do have this nice little screen. You do get AM, FM radio, USB, AUX, and Bluetooth, as I mentioned before. And you also get the CD as well, which uh, not many cars actually have these days. Now looking into the hard buttons for the main entertainment, as you can see, you do have various buttons for different things. But the nice thing is you do actually have a dial pad uh, it's not only to, to select the actual station you want to listen to, but also dial a number as well. Down below is all your climate control settings, so just turning exactly what temperature you want the uh, climate to be at, also the fan speed, and then where exactly you want the air to come out from as well. Your traction control button, so if for any reason you need to turn that off, you can, and then you have a 12 volt socket as well. Good amount of storage underneath here as well, probably somewhere where you chuck your phone. Your automatic gearbox, as I mentioned before, it is a sports automatic, so you can drive it as a normal automatic, or you can put it across to what they call the sport shift, and then you can actually shift through the gears manually. Do get two cup holders and your manual handbrake, and another 12 volt socket as well. And then inside the 
uh, armrest itself or the center console as you can see probably somewhere where you put your wallet or something like that in the first compartment and then in the second compartment you get uh, a lot more storage as well so now I'll just get the camera person just to quickly pan around as it's only a two-seater so there's not much to look at but just to show you the rest of the condition and this car with only 47,000 kilometers on the abdominal it still presents really well. So what we'll do now guys is we'll jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video. Guys, hopefully that's given you a really good representation of not only some of the features but also the condition on this vehicle as well. Now the number to call if you'd like to book a test drive, 9907055. Couple things before I go though, would highly recommend that you do take advantage of our premium mechanical protection plan here. It's going to give you an additional five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electric protection. It's also going to give you 10 years of roadside assistance and also unlimited claims up to $3,600 per claim with no excess on any of the claims as well. Last thing before I go is our Google reviews. We do have a 4.8 star rating out of 5 with over 960 reviews from our Australia-wide customers and hopefully that can give you the peace of mind that not only you're buying a fantastic car but you're dealing with the right dealership and the right quality of people to deal with as well. Again, number to call 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.